Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. Joey Moss with Bat... Bad Boy... Bad Boy Gaming. And we're going to crack open this Power Cube, Magic the Gathering. We've already opened one of these, two of these, and they were absolute trash. Also, I'm going to crack open this mystery package William Hugo sent me. I'm really excited to see what's up inside of that. But first, let's get into this Magic Power Cube. Uh, here's what they say you get. The three booster packs, one bonus item, two foil promo cards, and one life counter with the possibility seated one and four. Look for mystery packs. You can get these old ones. We're going to see if any of that holds up. This is our third one. So if we got it on the third time, we're pretty lucky. Can you shake them and look into them? I don't know. I, didn't, I don't ever shake the cubes. I think that's kind of a little overboard, you know. Uh, let's see what's inside. Not an old vintage pack, that's for sure. We got the old classic Ixalan, the Rivals of Ixalan, the Core 2019, and Hour of Devastation with a land bundle from Theros. I highly recommend you do not, oh, purchase one of these, but we did get the Itali Primal Storm, which we all know is like six, seven, eight bucks, not bad at all. And the Curator of Mysteries Bulk, which... I don't know if that's some ink smearing or what on the top of the foil. It looks kind of funny. I'd have to compare it to my other ones. But there, yeah, something ain't right about that. All the ink up here is just smeared on the top of that foil. Uh, you get, is that? I mean, compare it to the Atali. You see that? Like all that dark blackness? I don't think it's supposed to be there. Somebody let me know compared to another one. Even though I do have a few of these sitting around. Uh, maybe if we have time at the end of the video, I'll run and go grab a stack. And uh, we'll see what the, if it matches. Four. Five. Close. We're getting closer all the time, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to open the land pack. I'm going to skip that. We're going to crack open these booster packs. And then whatever William Hugo sent me, I'm pretty pumped about that. Let's just crack Hour of Devastation first. Mr. Devastation. Mr. Devastation. Can you devastate us here with some awesome pools? Aketra's Avenger. And uh, Arasakath Wright. Just a heads up, I, I strongly believe the price of Amonkhet and Hour Devastation is going to go up simply because there's uh, uh, Masterpiece cards in them. So if you're interested in uh, getting your bang for your buck beforehand, purchase a bunch of uh, Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation, even though the, the majority of the cards inside of these packs simply just kind of stink. But down the road, I'm telling you, they're going to be worth some stuff. They're going to be up there with the Kaladesh, even though the Kaladesh Aether Revolt ones do look a lot nicer. These are still going to maintain a, a high price point. People are going to want the masterpieces, even though they look like Yu-Gi-Oh crap. It is what it is. Pride of Conquerors, absolute, uh, really bold Pride of Conquerors on there. Same with the Oath Vampire. That was pretty uh, normal in this set, though. I noticed quite a few of those like that. Storm of the Vault, pretty cool card. You got the flip with the Vault of Catlacan on the back. So there is that. And also, I will be live streaming tonight on Twitch. That's right. So come hang out. Check out the Twitch. I think we're almost at 2,000 followers. It's pretty cool. Every time I get in there, we have a good time hanging out. And uh, I'll be doing some new decks. I think tonight, I'm going to try to make this one deck go infinite. We're going to see. Could make it into a video on YouTube. Never know. Never know what's going to happen there. Snitcher's Supplier. The Faith. The Enchanter. Sarkans and Ceiling. I got a brutal uh, Sarkans and Ceiling deck tech. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a heck of a lot of fun to play. One of my favorite builds. Make sure you go and check it out. Um, and the Emblem for Tezzeret. I bet the Emblem's probably worth more than Tezzeret himself. Maybe. Could be wrong. Doubt it. All right. We do have the Storm of the Vault. Goes in the rare pile. Now let's see what my homie Hugo sent me. I'm pretty pumped about this. Uh, highly recommend. End note. Full conclusion. Do not purchase the new Walmart Magic the Gathering Cubes. They're absolute trash, and I stand by that, period. You're getting land in every single one. It's just an awful, awful investment. Do not. Just, just don't. Just don't do it. Do yourselves all a crazy favor. I had to tape over stuff. There was personal things and whatnot on top of here without ruining it. There we go. Ooh, did a good job taping it, I'll tell you that, my friend. Did a good job taping it. There we go. All sliced up. Mr. Hugo, thank you for sending this out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get a load of this. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? What is all this? This is some vintage stuff, man. 
some older. This is throwbacks to my time, Mr. Hugo. From my time of magic. That is all that's in here. Yes, sir. -y. All right, man. Make sure there's no postage. Oh, man. We got foils from Legacy. Holy crap. That's insane. Um, wow. Thank you, man. Let's see. Let's see what's inside here. Holy crap. Uh, the Aura Flux. This is all the way back from uh, Urza's Legacy. If you guys are new to magic, this would be a really cool video to check out because it shows the old school stuff. Cloud of Fairies. Vigilant Drake. I think at one point I had like 20 of these because I opened so much Urza's Legacy and, and Saga and all the old stuff. Holy shit! Steel Artifact. That's, uh... Is that from Unlimited? Holy crap. I know it's supposed to be a double border. I see a double border on this one. Uh, if it's from... I'm not sure which one's a double border. I can't remember. It's been so long. Holy crap, man. Uh, thanks, dude. Uh, Hammered Spawning Bed. And that's from Fallen Empires. The most, the worst set ever. I'm telling you right now. It's the most awful worst set ever printed. Prodigal Sorcerer. Wow. This, uh, this is either unlimited. It's got the T symbol on it. Or it's, um, revised. I can't recall which one. Someone help me out here. Wing Sliver. Got the Wing Sliver. All Slivers game flying. That's really neat. Slivers, I love them, baby. Sea Singer. The artwork on this set was kind of... Kind of different. It also it seemed very bland and just like the colors weren't vibrant, like the colors weren't bright on them, you know. Uh, and just the abilities on the card. I mean, let's just read what this one. It's a zero one, okay? Three to bring out. Barry Sea Singer. If you control no islands, Barry means like destroy or sacrifice. It means it's going to the graveyard, more words or less. And then the T symbol, tap it, gain control of target creature if its controller controls at least one island. You lose control of target creature if. Sea Singer leaves play. If you lose control of Sea Singer or if Sea Singer becomes untapped, you may choose not to untap Sea Singer as normal during your untap phase. Holy crap, just a bunch of just junk. You know, like was from that set Fallen Empires. Songs of the Damned, pretty sweet. Interrupt, they changed that to instant. For those of you who don't know, there used to be interrupts. You can only play it to interrupt your opponent doing something. Now it's just declared as an instant, can be played at any time. Dothy Marauder, or Mordor, whatever. One of my favorite cards, because it had shadow. You bring this thing out, and it can only be blocked by creatures with shadow. And it can only block creatures with shadow. So you just make a crazy pump deck and just slap the freaking board with them. Goblin Swine Rider. That's really sweet from Visions. Fire Blast from Visions. Oh, this is really neat stuff. The Telroom Champion. I remember having a ton of those guys. Viashino Sandstalker. Mirage, wow, I haven't seen that in so long. The old school swamps, the old school lands. Another Mirage swamp, Mirage Island, plains. Look at the, man, they don't make them like they used to, I'm telling you. Tempest, that was Urza Saga, by the way. Urza Saga land right there from Island. The Tempest swamp, Island, plains. Oh, wow, old school baby. Good old Mark Poole classic. The islands. Whoa, those are so pretty to look at. Takes you back. Are these... I'm trying... Okay, they, these are different here. Okay, so... One of these... The image is different. So one of these is limited. One is unlimited. Or one's limited. Oh, I'm sorry. One is... Is it called? One's unlimited. One's revised. The double border should be the distinction. I think I could be crazy or they could be the exact same with different picture. I'm not somebody help a brother out. I used to know all this. I can't remember. It has faded from my, from my memory, but I think these are different. They could be from the same one though. Mark pool, the Island again, another Island, another Island from pool. Holy smokes. Now, okay. The text too is another indicator. If it's over further, let's see if we can change this a little bit. A little learning exercise here. Mm, no. They're all pretty lined up there. So I think they're all from the same set then. Another island. Holy smokes, man. I love my islands too. The old school artwork. Kind of just, I mean, it seems dull to you guys, the new players, but it was something back in the day. I uh, got the mountain. Another mountain. Elvish impersonators. All go, all go, in love. All. Pretty sweet. These from one of those unsets. Double take. Winning lottery numbers. 
Paper Tiger. There you go. That's what you need. Clam I Am. I remember seeing I think it was on the artwork. Or it was somewhere. Clam I Am was all over the place, though. Mesa Chicken. I used to live in Mesa, Arizona. Shout out that, that way. Oh, yes. You know, chicken. Double deal. Deep Spawn. So this thing takes eight to bring out, okay? It has trample, and during your upkeep, take two cards from the top of your library and put them into your graveyard or destroy Deep Spawn. And then for one island, Deep Spawn may not be the target of spells and effects until end of turn. Does not untap. That's not terrible for its time, honestly, but to get this thing out, man. Yeah, holy crap. Orcish Ore Flame. Siren's Call. Wow, Legacy Rare. Damping Engine. Four Drop. A player who controls more permanents than any other, pl any other cannot play lands or artifact creature or enchantment spells. That player may sacrifice a permanent to ignore its effect until end of turn. Tefiri's Puzzle Box. Oh, I haven't seen it in forever. During each player's draw phase, that player counts the cards in his or her hand, puts those cards on the bottom of his or her library, and then draws that many cards. Really, really cool card there. The old Sheevan Dragon with a Lotus Petal. Skadoosh. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool place ability as a mana source. Pretty sweet. Mons Goblin Raiders from back in the day. Nice uh, stroll down memory lane here. Talon Sliver. Got to make that Sliver deck. People have been asking me forever. This one kid would comment in every video. He's like, so, are you making that Sliver deck? Making that Sliver deck? He did it for like 50 videos. And I never made the Sliver deck. I'm very sorry. Reach out to me, young man. Thrawn Turbine. Love the artwork on all the Urza Saga cards. Flying and Phasing 4-4. Four, four. Blue Elemental Blast. There you go. Richard Thomas artwork. Sage Owl. That's from Weatherlight with the books. Another Tempest card. Volras Kiss, Mirage, Crocodile, the Minute Miscalculation from Urza's Legacy. Wow. And we got some foils here. Dark Banishing foil. Sightless Ghoul foil. Holy crap. Mutant's Prey. Sisse's Ring all up in it. Library of Lang. This one I think goes back to Alpha, I'm pretty sure. Spire of Gollum. Uh, Arcane Spyglass, the Celestial Prism. That goes back to Art of, um, all the way to... Uh, uh, alpha as well. Brass Man. <laughs> Living Wall. Really cool. Dark Seal Gargoyle. Arcbine Worker. The Slith. The Navigator. Tangle Golem. Wow. Just really neat to see all these. Really, really neat. Um, I can't. Was this Dark Steel? That set? I think it is Dark Steel. Dragon Mask. Look how basic and plain things were back then. Everything was simple with the art. Uh, Chimeric Sphere. The Barbed Sextant. Necrogen spell bomb, skadoosh. Life spark spell bomb. Wow. Juju bubble. Cumulative upkeep one. For cumulative upkeep means every turn you have to play one plus one continuously. Like every turn you pay one more, basically is what it is. Or you gotta sack it. So uh, if you play a card, bury juju bubble to gain one life. Absolutely a terrible, terrible, terrible card. Just saying. I mean, it's a way I guess to you can do the two life to gain. Life. I, I don't know. I don't recommend it. Glasses of Urza. Still waiting on someone to send me some Urza's glasses. Just saying. Uh, we do have Delph's Cone. Rod of Ruin. Sweet. Cinder Marsh from Tempest. Dark Steel Citadel. It is indestructible. If you're playing up against a deck that is destroyed. Oh my god! We hit the lottery! Evolving Wilds times two, baby. Get out of here. Awesome card. Brand new. Just came out. We got the wrong set symbol on it. It's a misprint. Uh, Dormant Volcano. Dormant Volcano. Oh, this is a new from Visions. I can't remember. When Dormant Volcano comes into play, return an untapped mountain. You control to owner's hand or bury Dormant Volcano. Add a mountain and one colorless man to your mana pool. That's pretty cool. If you could return the land to your hand uh, and get that out. Uh, remote Isle. Slippery Karst. Karst. Slippery Cost. Oh, boy. Urza's Legacy. Look at that nice shiny star symbol. That was so pretty. First set ever. With foils. We got the intervene foil. Slow motion for me. Oh man, these are so pretty. Thank you so much for sending these out, Hugo. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Gory. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy shit, dude. Got the Rancor foil. The original Rancor foil. That's nuts. That is nuts. Going into safekeeping file. Holy crap. Radiance Judgment. Destroy target creature with power four greater. Nice foil on that. Artwork's amazing, too. We got some mountains. Old school art mountains here. Treetop Village foil. 
wow, is that gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That looks brilliant. These may go in binders, my friend. These are going to go in binders. Uh, Treacherous. That's a, is that an uncommon? That's an uncommon. Treacherous Link Foil. Redirect to its controller all damage dealt to enchant a creature. That is sweet. Phyrexian Plague Lord Foil Rare. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is sweet. This takes me way this takes me back to childhood. Cracking all these packs. Composite Golem. Genesis Chamber. Oh man. Hugo, you're a nutty man, my friend. Thank you very much for sending this. Contaminated Bond. Damn right. Forest. The Plains. Good old Jester uh Murphors. He's on my uh He's on my Facebook. He's a he's a like he's a friend of mine. We don't talk though. He keeps to himself. Uh, the planes. A heat wave. Pretty sweet. Sulfartara. Sulfartara. Rock slide. The tremors. Wow. The artwork, man. I remember buying quite a few packs of visions too back then. Lightning blast. This I remember seeing this a billion times. Lightning blast is a cool card. Lightning blast deals four damage target creature or player. Now you have that uh, the lava coil for two, but it only deals damage to a creature. You got Clan Stoker, Clan Stoker, Clan Stoking up, Unforge. I think that's Dark Steel. I could be wrong. The Weatherlight, Weatherlight, Cinder Wall. I had like twenty of these. I mean, I'm sure if it's a common, I had a bunch. I remember having a thousand of these incinerates though. If only they would have made that in foil. That'd be so cool. Spitting Earth, the Sand Scout, Chaos Captain. Wow. Goblin Grenade, my friend. You two Fire Eater. I know the foil for that's worth a pretty penny. Soldier. Really cool. Goblin War Drum. That's right, boys. Smack them War Drums. Goblin Kites. <sighs> for Deuce. A target creature you control, which cannot have a toughness greater than two, gains flying until end of turn. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Enslaved Scout. Curd Ape. Back in the day, Curd Ape. Red Fire Mental Blast. Elemental Blast. Flash fires. All planes in play are destroyed. Just imagine sideboards back then. You just sideboard in a flash fires. Your opponent's playing white. Good game. Shield of the Ages. Wow. Diabolic Vision from... Uh, that was one of my favorite artworks back in the day right there. Is Diabolic Vision. Look at the top five cards of your library. And put one of them into your hand. Put the remaining four on top of your library in any order. Pretty neat Diabolic Vision. Gutter Snipe. Dark Steel Ingot. Twiddle. I do have a Twiddle. I don't know. I can't remember which set it's from. Um, whichever one it was first printed in. I have it in a G, uh, BGS 9.5, so it's cool to see Twiddle there. Snow-Covered Swamp. Got the Ice Age, baby. Those are really neat. Snow-Covered Lands um, are really, really cool. And they're becoming more and more scarce. They're becoming more and more scarce, for sure. The Old School Plains with Jesper on it. More Swamps. Wow. That it has to be 95 fourth edition i'm assuming i'm assuming i think it's fourth edition <sighs> the old t symbol didn't have the normal tap mana symbol in them no sure didn't dark ritual gorgeous art on that really really cool cursed land again that's cool drain life i like this card i you built decks with this card back in the day won many matches with drain life clot sliver sky cloth rash lobotomy this dude, man, he's going through some hell. That's all I'm saying. He is going through some hell. Messenger Falcons. Scalebane's Elite. The Crazy Cow. Volras Motion Sensor. And Ricochet Uncommon. Really, really cool. Thank you very much for sending these out, my dude. That was that was that was bomb. Make sure you guys punch the like button in the mouth. And uh, yeah, appreciate the content, man. Thank you. That was that was awesome. Uh, I, I love the cards. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, guys, if you haven't checked out the videos, um, I did drop quite a few this last week. Um, a lot of stuff, uh, to check out. We also destroyed a myth, a masterpiece planeswalker. Might want to go give it a look. We'll see you later.